Yokohama city. It's a waterfront city, fascinating, beautiful and unique. Stay with me for my walk and my talk. First, we visited the Garden Necklace 2023 located in Yamashita Park. Beautiful, beautiful view and amazing roses and the smell of this garden. So nice. A lot of people are walking and as you see on the video, there's a lot of people visiting. It's equally pleasant to visit this park, even if you are local. Musicians are ready for their concert. A lot of locals visiting this park for their sport activities. We did see a lot of people running and a lot of people riding their bicycles, a lot of sport activities. not work out why they call this place a garden necklace. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments and I will be thankful. And more runners and more runners they everywhere in this park. As I understood, this part was firstly used for international business in the early 1900s. In this very short first day visit, I observe a lot of young ladies are wearing a long skirts. Obviously, they in fashion here. Plenty of vending machines everywhere and they sell ice cream in vending machines, they sell anything in these vending machines. Very, very common. What I learned today, vending machines got a red and blue color. If the product's got a red color, it's a hot product. If it's got a blue color, it's a cold product. Today I saw a lot of dogs, a lot of dog owners, but at the same time I did not see many children. Obviously it's right what they say, the birth rate is declined in Japan. Next stop, beautiful Chinatown.
beautiful walk through the Chinatown. Chinatown offers a lot. It can walk, it can try different food, it can buy souvenirs, and it's so colorful. So many people, so nice just to walk, look, and enjoy. One other thing in Yokohama. I never seen a drug users for the whole day and I did not see any homeless person. Look at these old shops, they are so interesting, not matching with the new buildings, but very, very unique. The next visit was the red brick houses. The red brick houses were originally built for warehouses when the first the port was opened. One of the warehouses was built in 1911 and the next one in 1913. The red houses were taken over by the Americans during the World War II and they were returned in 1989. After that, these two brick warehouses were restored, rebuilt and reopened in 2002. There are so many artistic shops, souvenirs, they are museums, events, exhibitions, shops, food counters, anything eating of. Did you see the Russian matryoshka, some Russian communist uh, collectibles and also collectible watches?
is children chocolates very colorful very unique it's just like piece of art and they're so little so cute Thank you for watching my video and wait for the next one. I'm still here in Japan and enjoying it.